Hi guys, uh, this is my PIR sensor video. Uh, this is just a kind of a, a variation of a circuit I saw on the internet. Um, where I'm, uh, you can actually see the PIR sensor right in the middle, you can actually see the PIR on it. Uh, it's just an amplification circuit and a window comparator. Two outputs of the window comparator are actually related to those two LEDs. So what I'm going to do is if you can see the two LEDs, I'm going to walk up uh, my power range right now, as this is just a prototype, uh, is very small, so it's got a very short range, but I'll have some fun with it, and I'll hopefully you'll be able to see it. So what the PIR sensor does is it picks up on the... Uh, infrared uh, signal coming off the human body and uh, that little window on the PIR sensor is actually the pyro pyroelectric uh, uh, material that picks up on the infrared signal com coming off the human body. If I stand in front of it for a long period of time the two LEDs would go off because it's gotten used to the signal and it's actually detecting changes uh, within its range. Now as I said right now it's got a very sh uh, small range but uh, if I stand in front of it about about a meter in front of it, the uh, the uh, LEDs will go off. Now, under an oscilloscope, it looks a lot different. But what uh, I'm just trying to show you what the PIR sensor does. Uh, I'm not selling this in the kit right now. Uh, but I, what I am selling is I'm selling three-in-one PIR sensor or Fresnel cap to uh, filter out ambient light and uh, LM324, which is a quad op amp for your own experimenting for. Uh, well, you can take a look at electroniclessons.com, which will send you to my eBay store. Uh, or, and I'm selling them all separately. So the PIR sensor itself, the Fresnel cap, and the uh, LM324. So two, uh, two uh, op amps and, uh, and a window comparator. So four op amps. Thanks for watching.